I'm here with Brynn DeSins, Alicia Duxini, head coach Brian Ball, Taylor Keneally, Bree Chacho, and Alexa Rebune. Um, first coach, I'm gonna start with you. Um, season unfortunately ends to Grand Valley State losing five to two in the quarterfinals. Just tell me how you think the game went. Uh, I mean, obviously uh, I didn't start out you know, the best, you know, falling in a hole early, but I actually liked how we came out. Uh, you know, I thought the first, uh, you know, 10 to 15 minutes until they got that first one, uh, you know, we, we threatened a few times, and, uh, you know, we, if we could have found one early there, you never know what happens. But, uh, you know, they're just, uh, they're kind of a fine-tuned machine right now. I give a lot of credit to them. Uh, super, uh, super talented team. And, you know, like I told our team, I think that when we came out of this game, we going to win the national championship. And so we wish for all the best for Grand Valley. And, uh, doesn't take away from how proud I am. Man, Alicia, I'm going to move to you. You ended up with two goals in the game, both off of corner kicks by Bryn. Um, just tell me what you saw in the box on both of those kicks. Yeah, um, honestly, personally, I kind of just went up for it, and I kind of got headbutted, but um, I just kind of jumped up for it and luckily I saw it go in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a good goal from the back end. I was out on the ground. But in the second one, I believe it was like a minute later, but I think we had the momentum pushing, so um, that really helped us. And then, Brian, on that, on the first one, you broke the single season assist record. Ended up with 16 on the year. Just can you comment on what that means to you? Well, it means more than like the world. Like it's just a big accomplishment. And it's like I couldn't touch on with the rest of the team, and I'm just so happy. It's a good way to kind of end the season, even though it didn't end up playing well. Alexa, I'm going to move to you. Um, being in net, obviously, Grand Valley is a big force. What would you, what were you kind of expecting coming in, and what did you really did see then? Um, I think we all knew that they were going to put a lot of shots on us. And, you know, they have extremely fast players all around. They're just super talented. And we knew going into this that it was going to be a battle. And, you know, I think this is kind of what we expected is that this was going to be, there's going to be shots left and right. And, like, they're just, they're going to manage. Bree, um, what was the main change that you guys made at halftime being down two to nothing? And then Taylor, um, you played 91 matches in your career at Minnesota State, most all time. Um, just comment on how that mean, what that means to you. Um, it means so much to me, especially like in my career like this, just breaking that record. And I was fortunate enough not to go through any type of season any injury or any concussions or anything. And then just being with my team all four years and being with the people that I spend every single day with just makes it so much more special. And then, Coach, final question. Um, second year in a row, you've won 19 games, which is tied for the second most all time. Um, just your thoughts about how, how this year went. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I've said it before. I mean, this was probably the most resilient team I've ever coached. And um, just uh, for them to achieve what they have, I think, is remarkable. And just a credit to how special all of them are. Um, love these seniors. Uh, I love our team. Uh, grateful for all of them, grateful for our coaching staff, our administration. Um, this is a special place, and uh, we're going to keep building, and we're going to get further. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg, so can't wait till, till next year. Thank you, guys, and congratulations on a good season. Thank you.